Hey, welcome back. I'm going to show you something that's going to blow your mind. It is going to blow your mind. And let me show you what that is. My guess is, is you're probably not set up like this. My guess is, you use F4 Browse and you use it incorrectly. So here, I'm going to show you the wrong way and then I'm going to show you the right way. So I'm going to hit F4 on my keyboard and I have a browse window. Almost every program in M3 has this browse window and you can configure these. And there's multiple sorting orders that you can use. And you could say, hey, you know what? I want to see it by phone number or, or postal code or salesperson. Then you have the selection. And then you could say, hey, you know, give me this and give me that. And, and you, can, you can mess around. But most of the time, what do we do? We just like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go on name. You can use wild cards, right? So I want to, like, oh, anything with service in it. That's what I want. Right? You can use wild cards and things, and, and everyone's used to using these, but you're using it in the wrong manner. You need to supercharge your browse window and enable enterprise search. Let me show you the difference. Here I'm entering in an order line. When I browse, it looks different. That's because enterprise search is enabled. What does that mean? Well, you know what? I'm just going to put in something. I'm going to type in the word wing. And when I browse, it brings up everything with the word wing. See this word fresh? We'll do it again. I'm going to just X out of this. And I'm going to type in the word fresh and hit browse. And when I do that, anything with the word, it's, it's looking at the item number, the name, the description. It's looking at the full string. If I still don't have the thing that I want, I could keep searching. I don't need to flip views. It's looking at everything at once. This is so fast. So I'm going to show you how to set this up and how you're going to be able to transform the way you search for customers and items. The instructions to enable this, they are all online. If you go to the info center and type in the word browse, you're going to see this instruction configure browse sequences. But it was a little bit rocky for me to get through, so I'm going to explain it for you. Basically, it starts out talking about the classic browse and the user-defined sorting orders in classic browse. But we don't want to use those. That's MNS 180. We want to do the MNS 170. That's what we want. So there's a couple things we're going to have to do to enable this. And let's digest this a little bit. First, it says launch the program. And then you just go down the list and listen to it. Match the table used in the classic browse. Normally the 00 version of the table is used. Use function F key in classic browse to see the table used in the browse. See details in step three. All that saying is, is when we were over here and we hit browse, it's telling you, you, you need to know this, this Akuzma 60 off of the name. But normally the, the standard, the standard when you go to the main one, it's usually a Kuzma 00. Basically it's a database table name and every, the set of numbers on the end have to do with, it's called a logical view or a, a different way to slice and dice the data. Not so important that you need to remember that, but this is a Kuzma. And even though it says 60, I think I might try 00. The other key part of these instructions is this line here. Information category. This must have the used by program field in CMS 010 set to CMS 990 search browser. If that sounds confusing, that is because it is. Unless you speak M3, then you're like, what does that mean? So we're gonna go through that too. And the rest of the stuff may be helpful. Helpful If you're going to set this up, definitely read through it, but let's actually go through the steps. So in order to enable one of these, we need to set something up in CMS 010 first. And we're going to basically say, where is this going to be used? And we're going to say it's in a search browser. So let's do that first. Here I am, CMS 010. The master table that I want is Akuzma. 
that is customer master. And when we look at this, there's nothing set up. I'm going to name this browse customer and create that record. I'm going to fill this in real quick. And here's the key. This is the one where we're going to say we want it to be CMS 990 search browser. The rest of this we can leave blank. The name will auto populate. Now we have to define back in MNS 175 where is it that we want it to look at the master table of Kuzma browsing the program CRS 610. As you can see, I've already set some up for item searching. That's why that's set up. So now we're going to set it up for customer searching. And we'll set it for OIS 100 because that's the easiest one. And I'm going to set it as Akuzma 00 because those are typically the master tables indexed by customer number and then name. And this is where we have to select our browse customer. At this point, it's asking me what sorting order that we're looking for and what's the standard view that we're going to be looking at. I just bounced back to Customer Master to make sure the sorting order and view is what I want. All of this looks good. Now this is where we get to pick the fields that we want to see inside of that pop-up and browse window. We are going to pick Simulate with Edit. Next. And now we want to add some fields. It's simple as hitting this little pencil icon and then selecting from the list. I'll add one real quick. Let's use the postal code and I'll add a bunch more. Okay, I added a bunch of fields and now I've populated my view. I have an address, salesperson, zip code, phone numbers, everything that I would typically want to see in a pop-up. Just to test this out, let's try some enterprise searching. We'll do last four digits of a phone number. Yeah, that worked good. Let's do geographical search. Yeah, that looks good. Let's do a name search. Yep, yeah, that looks good. Note, I'm only putting in a one piece of data and it's looking at it all. And I've just edited that view, so let's go try it out. Now I'm back, so let's see, check it out. Instead of our old boring browse window, I can put in anything I want and do a browse and it's gonna bring up my customer list. And once again, if I can type in other things, it just narrows it down. So no longer do I need to flip through my different browses. I just have one global browse where it looks at everything. Now we need to enable that every other place we see customers. Here's customer returns open, right? Here's the old browse in which I have a list of things and I would have to say, oh, how do I want to find it and use wild cards and flip between my different ones. Now let's configure it for the new browse. We're going to open up that program, MNS175. We're going to say, hey, now in OIS390, I want you to use this view instead. We'll select customer browse. It's going to ask us again, hey, is this the one we want to use? We're going to say yes. And it copied over those same settings, so I don't need to add those fields again. They're already there, and that's it. So now when I go back to customer return open, I get the new browse with enterprise search activated. How cool is that? So let me tell you, you are going to be the hero once you configure this for you and your friends. They are gonna be buying you beers, and they're gonna be loving everything. You'll probably get a promotion. Hey, thanks again for looking at this configuration video. I really hope it helps you out. I hope it becomes, I hope you become more efficient. I hope your company becomes more efficient. Please share, like, comment, and please subscribe.